Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make a quick and easy meatloaf. So all you're going to need are the ingredients that you see on my cutting board. And we're going to start out with a pound of ground beef. And I'm going to use this odd looking thing that actually chops up meat and actually helps you mix it together. So to my um, ground beef, I am going to add some bread. This is something my grandma taught me to do. It helps you stretch stuff. So if you're making a meatloaf and you add a little bit of bread to it, it actually does actually make up a little bit of volume in it and actually give a little bit extra. And especially when things cost so much at the grocery store, this is not such a bad idea. So I put in probably around three fourths or so of a cup of chopped up bread just to add to the ground beef and give it a little bit more volume. So as you can see, I was just taking this bread off of what was a sub bun. So it really, it's not anything major that you're needing to find a special kind of bread or whatever. You can use anything you want. You can use sandwich bread if you want to. And I just go ahead and press this in a little bit. And then I'm going to add to this three fourths cup of panko breadcrumbs. And then to that, a half a cup of milk two eggs, a small onion chopped up, and then to this I am going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. And these are basically the seasonings you're putting in this. You're not really having to add a lot to make this. And then I'm going to mix it all up. And eventually, I probably will have to use my hand on this because you can only go so far with using something to mix up ground beef and all this bread and all the seasonings and the onion. It has to be pushed together. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees because this is going to be in there for about 40 minutes. And get a baking dish that you want to use for this. Spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then the mixed up meatloaf, we're going to transfer into your baking pan and shape it to the size of the pan because at this point you're just pressing it into it. And then on top of the meatloaf, a lot of people use ketchup, mustard, and oddball things they mix together. I'm going to actually use a chili sauce and pour over it because it's going to give it a kick of flavor and it's going to give it just that edge to where it has such a great taste on top of it. But as I said before, you need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. This will be in there for, I'd say around 40 minutes. It might take about 45 for it to be done. So once you get the chili sauce on top of this, you're gonna wanna actually take something like a spoon, fork, whatever, and just smooth it out the whole length of the top of it so that way it has a good amount on all the corners and sides. And then you're gonna put this in the oven. And when it comes back from the oven, it'll look something like this. And this has such a great taste and it's so easy to put together. It's a quick and easy meal and it doesn't take all that much time to do. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and in bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.